Welcome to the fourth annual Yellow Springs uh, Holiday Tree Lighting. And uh, this is a celebration that uh, Karen Wintrow started in the Yellow Springs Chamber. And uh, I will tell you, it's a lot different uh, tonight. Uh, I'm missing Dino's hot cocoa and the pretzel bites from Green Canteen. And of course, all the community members that would be here gathered to see the beautiful lights of the tree that you're gonna see in a minute. But the fact that we're doing it virtually highlights that we will be merry no matter what. And related to that, I wanted to highlight that we've got a lot of things to be thankful for and thoughtful about. And that brings to mind that today is Giving Tuesday. And this is a great opportunity if you are able to support our dynamic nonprofits. And it's really easy to do. I did it earlier today. You go to ysgivingtuesday.org, O-R-G, and you can pick the nonprofits that you want to support. There's a lot of great uh, projects and groups out there. And there are a couple other things I wanted to highlight as well. All right, one of those being that um, it's important during these holiday times to take care of you and, your, and yours. And uh, remember that it's important to stay connected. That's why we distance socially and we wanna make sure that we're there for everybody. Support your local businesses. They need you right now, and we will make sure as the village that we keep those uh, shopping experiences safe. Um, I also want to highlight our frontline workers, which are out there trying to keep us going, feeding us and whatnot, and making sure that we can actually shop. So be kind to them. And uh, lastly, I want to talk about the fact that our village is doing well. And a big part of that is our village team, our public works crew, our peace officers that are keeping us safe, keeping the lights on, keeping us warm, which uh, we're going to be doing really soon after this video. And so I really just want to highlight to everyone that New Year, yes please, all right, it's going to be a good one. Vaccine's coming. We've got a great community support network in place. And I think 2021 is going to be great. We're going to learn from the opportunities and, and take advantage of those moving forward. So last thing I want to mention uh, in terms of gratitude and appreciation, I pulled up a little uh, 12 days of Corona. So I thought I would uh, sing this out real quick, but I'm not going to do all the verses. So in the year 2020, my fortune gave to me. 12 border changes, 11 total freakouts, 10 sanitizers, 9 streaming binges, 8 canceled trips, 7 toilet paper rations, 6 feet apart, 5 facial masks, and then some, 4 conspiracy theories, 3 massive migraines, 2 quarantines, and a case of our favorite wine. Happy holidays. Hi there. Good evening. Miami Township Fire Chief Colin Altman coming to you live tonight from a very frigid Rockefeller. I'm being told we're not at Rockefeller Center tonight. We're actually in Yellow Springs. I'm here this evening with my good friends, um, Rima McIntyre, Al Roker, His Holiness, Pope Francis, and Josue, the village manager. Woo! So we're here tonight because we're lighting the tree. It's an historic occasion. An historic, as it should be, not a historic. An historic loca uh, occasion. It's our first virtual tree lighting, and hopefully, hopefully our last. Uh, right now, wherever she is, Karen Wintrow is very upset that this isn't in person. So. We're going to light the tree. It's going to be wonderful. Everyone can see it. It's across the street from the hotel. I do miss Dino's hot chocolate this evening and the pretzel bites and the green canteen. But I think we can just go to Dino's and the green canteen and get those. So from all of us at the fire department, your Miami Township Fire Rescue, we want to wish you a happy and safe holiday, be it Christmas, Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice, Star Wars Life Day, or my personal favorite, Hanukkah. Be safe, be careful. If you do get together, no more than 10 people, remember, wear your mask when you can, stay distant, don't kill 
grandma. It's very important. <laughs> Have a happy holidays. Call us if you need us, but if you don't, you can still call us, but we'll still be there. We'll come to see you. So happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa Life Day. The rest of them. Yay! Alex Scott here from the Yellow Springs Chamber. Don't have a whole lot to say, but I just wanted to say 2020 has been a really difficult year, but I've lived in Yellow Springs since 2012, and when people say we're all in this together, Yellow Springs is the kind of place that really exemplifies that spirit. And through all of the mess that we have all had to deal with this year, I'm really glad to be here in Yellow Springs. Um, so I definitely want to echo a couple of things that Brian said, you know, support your local businesses, especially this year, and Giving Tuesday is today, so check out ysgivingtuesday.org. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be in Yellow Springs, and happy holidays, everybody. Hey, folks. Josue Salmeron here, village manager. I'm so excited that we're able to do this. The weather couldn't be any better. It's perfect. We've got some snow on the ground, snow on the tree. Uh, but most importantly, we are here together. We're in good spirits, good health. We're praying for everyone who's been affected by the coronavirus. And I know it's been a tough year. It's been unlike any other. Uh, but we're hanging through, and we're doing this together. And we've got to take some time to reflect, to be grateful for what, the, what we have now, and be optimistic and hopeful for what's ahead of us. And with that, I want to wish you a happy holidays. From us to you. Wishing you all the best. You're closing. Greetings, villagers and township folks. Mayor Pam here. Mayor Pam here on this gorgeous night. As Josue says, it couldn't be any nicer. Although, yes, I too miss the, the Dino's cappuccino and the green canteen pretzel bites. But you know, there's a way we can support them. And we can support them by going to their shops and by purchasing gift cards or purchasing items, by shopping locally this year for all our merchants. As Alex just said, it's been a tough year for everyone. Our merchants had a very hard spring and a very difficult summer. And there's one way we can help them, which is do as much shopping as we can locally if that's part of your tradition. They won't always have your child or your grandchild's number one favorite requested toy. However, perhaps there's a way that that could be ordered through one of the shops here downtown. So I also would like to remind folks, you have five hours left for Giving Tuesday. And if you're like me, what I like to do is determine how much money I have to spend. I usually pick some charities and some nonprofits that I don't contribute to for the rest of the year, divvy it up, and then get to go online and it's like I'm having Christmas in giving to those wonderful nonprofits that we have that are out there. So please, we have to pull together as a village, as a community this year, but we're doing that. I want to thank everyone who came here tonight. I want to thank all of you who are at home, and this is a part of who we are as the village of Yellow Springs. Couldn't be happier to live here, couldn't be happier to be to your mayor. So thank you. Let's light this tree. Woo! Yay! Yay!